Okay, guys. All right, guys. I'm at a health food store. You see which one I'm talking about? And I want to talk to you, like, what would be the best choice of food to take if you're trying to get some hot food to go, right? Now, you guys know I'm against the casein. Casein is... Uh, this is cheese. <laughs> I'm so used to calling it casein, I don't even call it cheese anymore. So casein is a protein, it's a growth factor. The problem is it drills holes in your gut lining and creates a lot of autoimmunity. Uh-uh. Plus it's from A1 cows and sick cows and all this. I think this is grass-fed cheese, you're tripping. A lot of you guys have nightshade is issues, so you might see some of the peppers and think that they're fine. Would I, as a keto person, choose any of this? Oh, hell no. Beans are legumes, tons of phytic acid. Pasta has, wheat pasta has gluten in it. Um, we got carrots, which if you're doing sort of just a low carb or cabbage, that'd be fine. But what is on that cabbage? I don't even know. Let's see. Wine vinegar. Nope, you got a gut dysbiosis. The vinegar on this will frack your gut up. All right, we got quinoa, which is super toxic. People think it's such a health food, but it's actually super toxic because of the phytic acid. All right, we got tuna with mercury. We got cucumber, which is fine in small amounts for keto people. But be careful for anything that has seeds, I'm just saying. I wouldn't eat any of this. Garbage, 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 garbage. All right, what else do we got? Okay, so for people. Uh, just doing low carb, then sweet potato is fine. Keto people, hell no. So none of this is keto approved, except for the eggs. Can you believe that they make just egg whites? That is toxic. The whites of the eggs are actually toxic. They're to protect the fetus. People don't realize that when, let's say, a wolf breaks into a chicken coop, it slurps out the yolk because less of the allergenic effect. Whole eggs, a lot better. Doesn't that stuff just look like death? All right, let's come over to the other side. All right, so we got uh, chicken, which is probably in sugar. Uh, tuna, ham, which is in sugar. Eggs, which is fine. Real vegetables. These vegetables are nightshades. A lot of them have lectins, so even people who don't do keto, this is, could be problematic. Um, the berry family, lectin central. Some people are highly sensitive to them and some are not. Grapes, I mean, this pretty much is all for uh, low carb people. This is not really for ketogenic people because these have all been bred to have more fructose. And that's what makes them unhealthy. Beyond the carotenoids and, and uh, antioxidants and flavonoids and all the deep color that can give you the antioxidant benefit, the fructose cancels out the benefits of, of it in large amounts. Yeah. So let's see here. Look right here, it says allergen alert. That's very interesting. At least they're talking about allergens. Wow, I'm shocked. Good. Let's take us over to our organic salad bar. Uh, quinoa, again, is a highly toxic grain for many reasons. Phytates, nope. Uh, let's see here. this. I don't even know. Celery, great. Cabbage, great. Green peppers for keto people are better than the colored ones because it's going to be more carbohydrate. Tomatoes, I mean, it's a nightshade. Be careful, people. A lot of you have nightshade issues. Tomatoes in small amounts. Broccoli all day, every day, but rotate your veggies. People always talk about like beans, no beans, no gabon gabonzo beans. Now the onions, these are spring onions. These are keto approved. 
uh, beets, that's what they were, golden beets. So this would be for more of a low carb person, a person transitioning into keto, but not ketogenic people. Radishes, good. Uh, edamame, no, it's soy. Carrots would be for low carb people, not ketogenic people. Shredded broccoli, all good. And we've got butternut squash. Now this is great for people graduating. Beets and butternut squash are great for people graduating themselves down to ketogenic protocol, but not ketogenic people. Oh, nope, nope, nope. So I keep going around the block here. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see here. Hey guys! <laughs> okay, so for we got greens. All of this is keto approved. We got romaine lettuce, less histamine. Kale can have a, people with issues. It's really great to help clear out the estrogen dominance. And fiber really helps to, to help kind of clear out the estrogen in the liver. Rainbow chard, yes. Spring mix, yes. Spinach. Be careful for people who got histamine intolerance, but yes. Especially if you have a histamine intolerance, rotate. It's a really great source of potassium. Yes, another mix. Okay, we've got another type of kale. Arugula, yes, less histamine reaction. And these are our salad greens, but we want to rotate people between cooked veggies and salads. I sometimes I suggest salads for lunch, cooked foods for dinner, and rotate. I'm about to peace out. Oh. As you guys know, I'm writing the Ultimate Keto Book and all this kind of stuff I'm explaining. Everything I'm, I'm explaining, blah, blah. And uh, you can, I'm, I also have a keto course page, stephanieperson.com, or you can go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, and I need to get out of this biatch because I got stuff to do, like write this dang book. And I'm out.